Okay, so um, we're going to attach a ribbing, but I have a confession to make. This ribbing that I bought is quite light, so what I did is I cut it twice as high. Um, so this is a, a cuff. I was supposed to cut this shape, but because it's quite thin, I cut it twice as high and I'm just going to fold it double and then proceed as if this was just a thing. So this will get folded double, in my case double double, and then that will fit around your wrist like that. And this is a better weight than what the initial knit was. This would normally be your piece. Um, we're going to fold it double and then it's going to go around your wrist, right? And then we need to join it here. But we're of course going to join it before you fold it double. So you take your piece and then you sew it together, good sides together, like that, right? And I'm going to unfold it completely and I'm going to sew it together, good sides together, like this. I'm going to do the same thing here. This is my piece of the hem. I had to join two pieces together here because my knit wasn't wide enough. So this also with the good sides together, yours will be half as high, unless you're also doing double double, so it'll look you know, more or less like this. Just good sides together and just sew it here. I've closed the ribbing, so the sleeve ribbing now looks like this long rectangular sock. Once again, this is what it should, well, what it normally looks like, half the length, but because my ribbing is kind of thin, I'm doing it double. Got that for the two sleeves, and then I got the same height, which, once again, is normally only this height. For the um, hem, this is also a tube. So what we're going to do now um, is we are going to do this double. When you're happy, do it double again in my case. There we go. One cuff. We're going to attach this. Where your cuff joins, you should try to align that. Right? Just tuck your sleeve in. Like that. Find that seam. Where the sleeve is joined and align that seam with the seam of your cuff. And there it is the first thing. And then you find the opposite side and the second thing. So later on on the surgery we're going to be searching along this edge while stretching this out so that the, the sleeve fabric right matches the ribbing fabric. Um, do the same on the other sleeve and then do the same with the hem. So if you are not doing it double double then folding it double once is enough. I have to fold it again. Once again if you align these layers the better you do that the less hassle it will be to surge them together. You want to try to get as uniformly stretched as possible so that the gathering is uniform if not it gives you like unsightly wrinkles. You want to be careful here, pocket bag extends a little bit over this thing. Maybe you should just trim this back. When you put this under your serger, it's somewhat easier to um, have the hoodie fabric on the top so you can see what's happening to it because the knit is a lot sort of chunkier and heavier now that I've done it double double. So it's the hoodie fabric that is most likely to run away and not get caught in the seam. Sleeves are more tricky business but basically the same principle, just keep it stretched. There's only one small thing to do and then we are finished. And that is here at the pocket bag to fix this bottom piece of the pocket bag to your hoodie. So top stitch from there to there on top of that earlier sewing in that same color thread. So that's it, one homeboy hoodie mate. Um, I hope you like it. I like it, I actually quite love it, except that it's way too hot um, 
for a day like today because it's quite warm here. Um, good luck making your homeboy hoodie. If you do make it, I like to see pictures, so send them to me or put them online with the hashtag homeboy hoodie. And uh, I saw you.